the dangers of mold, what we can do about it. Let's go deep on that for a few minutes. Yeah, let's do it. Number one, totally free, moldymovie.com. I interviewed 10 of the top doctors in the world and 10 people like you and me who just got punched in the face by mold. One mold toxin is my favorite. It's called zeralinone. It's 10,000 times more estrogenic than human estrogen. In the US, there's a pharmaceutical feed company that concentrates it into little waxy pellets and you drop one into a cow's ear. And then just that little dose percolates through the capillaries into the cow's entire fatty system and the cow gets fat on 30% less calories. It proves all the calories in, calories out people are stupid, just on its face. There's about 200 species of mold that make really nasty mold toxins that cause systemic inflammation, direct mitochondrial harm, they're linked to cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, all the diseases of aging. Um, I wrote in Headstrong, my cognitive book, that this is a very likely cause of Alzheimer's. And then Dale Bredesen came out with actual proof that mold is a cause of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's for if you're breathing it or you're eating it or you have an infection, it has different effects and they're all really bad for you. So I know a lot of high performers, they're out there like, I feel great, you know, I'm, I'm doing all the things I wanna do. And then all of a sudden you wake up and you feel hungover, dark circles, rashes, strange nightmares, nosebleeds, unexplained bruises, frequent respiratory infections, heart palpitations, chronic fatigue syndrome, pots where your blood pressure just drops for no reason. We got to make sure that we don't have a funky smell like an old mop in our bedroom because it is reliably going to take you out. But, and this is why the movie, moldymovie.com, again, guys, free. The reason it's so just important, every person will have a different set of symptoms because mitochondria run everything. So you might have three things and you know your wife might have 10 things or one thing and they're not the same. So you think you're crazy. So for people listening, if you have water damage in your house and you have all sorts of unexplained things, you can take all the peptides in the world, you'll still feel like shit. That said, there are some like MOTC and uh, SS7 and TB500 and BPC157, LL37, that are gonna be really good for you if you have mold, but until you get the mold out of the body and out of your environment, they're just gonna be expensive Band-Aids.